Okay, we're back, and uh, this time I painted the uh, the gesso board uh, in the base color, and this is how you get it. It's a um, museum series panel, and um, it's the same I used in the previous video, only this time we painted the background, and I got some pretty nice results also, which um, which I really like. I put it on with a sponge just to cut out a little sponge like this and just dabbed it on the uh, on the background and it it's it's exactly what I what I wanted I got these little bubbles going on when I torched it uh, the, in the first layer you could really see those little bubbles and I'm gonna do something with that later on now we have um, leveled it out we have our cutout cup as you can see and we're going to place that in the middle and we're going to fill it with the background color this time more than I did in the previous video this time I have uh, also a light blue which I'm going to put in here and I'm going to add the white That's a lot of paint. Now I'm going to release it and I'm going to spread it right away. And while I'm spreading it, you can see the white coming to the top and doing crazy things. So like I did in the previous one, help it to the side with your, uh, with your finger like that sort of as a barrier so that it doesn't all drop off right away. I'm letting it come down where you see it's filling up there. There it goes. And I'm going to let it come down here. I think we almost have enough. Let's just hope it a little bit. Then down here. And then we're going to torch it. Now remember that in this uh, the base color we didn't have any silicone. Only in the colors that we put in with the syringe. Okay, that's it. just have to clean my hands off and as you can see the paint is doing what it wants to do so let it do that and then I'm going to torch just to get some more really pretty effects And what we're doing, we're really just warming it because, you know, I'm letting the heat go over the, uh, over the top, but not really burning the paint because you don't want to have that happening. So there it is. So what you don't want to do is torch down because that makes, you know, the paint bubble and burn and that you absolutely you want to avoid that. It's not, um, uh, good to, uh, you know get fumes coming off your paint you don't want that so this is uh, what it turned into and I'll get you up close there it is that's a lot of a lot of things going on but as you know this is going to do its thing do what it wants to do and it's going to move some more and whatever uh, what whatever it comes out as you know when it's almost dry that's what it comes out as and I see a couple of little holes that I would like to fill and that is absolutely no problem at all you can do that but just do um, when you do this don't do too much paint because 
the more you bring in the middle the more it'll flow away so if you want to keep what you created with your uh, torch you don't want to add too much paint just a little bit to make uh, everything look uh, nice and smooth because that's what you're going for nice and smooth and if you don't want to do this then you don't you don't need to because after you can always you know just varnish it you can put a layer of resin on it if you want to do that that's okay to do and you can do it quite anything you really want to with it um, I think resin would really really make it pop but if you have a really good glossy uh, varnish that'll work also and of course the top coat that would work perfect on this so that's about all I want to uh, add I don't want to put too much more on it because as you can see if you oh sorry about that you're not in focus um, if you go back and forth with the video you can see this still move and that's what's going to happen until it's totally done its thing and it's something that we as artists just can't control and I think that is the uh, the amazing thing about this technique that it is very organic it will grow it will move and it'll do what it wants to do and you can do totally nothing to it <laughs> that's it because this is uh, a lot of fluid paint and um, if you really want to have some more control over the pores then you will have to go and look for another sort of uh, paint uh, a little thicker like the studio paints and that will work also you'll get the same results only it will move less because you make it a little thicker this is a 50 50 mix and I'll take you through the colors one more time so let's just let this little fellow rest here that's what's going to happen and please do fast forward and fast backward one or two times so that you can see how this is growing and that is something that you know you really need to understand that that's going to happen so the first thing you get when you use that torch that's not going to be your end product um, this uh, the fluid uh, acryl acrylic is just a little bit more fluid than out of the tubes or out of the jars so that's why this keeps on moving 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 and as you can see down here this ex this bit here really moves and I'm really really starting to like what it's doing so we'll just have it do what it wants to do right okay the colors now I used for the white I used the uh, 320 that is uh, the zinc white then for the uh, the light blue this color I used the titanium white because it is opaque and it'll color better than the zinc white will and I mixed it with this cyan blue till I got a nice light blue color and the background is this color that is the 404 <clears throat> so those colors you have four bottles and you can make so many paintings with those four bottles it's a mix of 50 50 with the Vallejo pouring medium and as you saw me do you uh, put the syringe in you make sure that it, it's not on the top although you can try that too because it'll give you uh, really different results you might really like it so that's okay to do but I um, before I cut out the cup and put it in the middle I soak up uh, a lot or I suck up a lot of paint with the syringes and then you'll have your hand one hand you need to hold the ring and then with the other you can use the syringe and push in the paint so that's about it for this painting um, you, what you can do is just wait a while and just watch what the paint is doing and then if you need to you can uh, because if you let the light bounce on top you can see where you need maybe one or two drops of paint just to make it a little smoother you don't have to like I said before 
it's not necessary to do but if you want to you can still add after like say 10 minutes after the pour you can still add paint that's no problem at all it'll still smooth out very nicely and it'll give that nice nice finish that you really like I'm just doing the side here but what you really want to do is you know look over it you want to bounce the light off the uh, the surface so you can see where you need to add the paint there's a little bit there and watch out that you don't put too much in because then this will keep on moving it'll move and move and move and maybe that's not what you're going for just doing the sides a little here that's okay a little bit here on the corner one drop now I've got it pretty much uh, how I want it so I'm not going to do anything more as you can see it's still moving down here because it's this is not totally leveled out and I really want to stress how important it is that you level out your surface first otherwise it's going to move all over the place maybe nice effect too but if you don't want it make sure you got it really really level okay now that was it and we'll see what happens to this uh, piece tomorrow when it's dry so thanks for watching everyone see you in the next video